We're going to talk about uh, TV now and getting TV signals the old-fashioned way, over the air with an antenna, but with a, a new digital twist. On the line, we've got our good friend Ted Kritsonos out of Toronto. Thanks for joining us, Ted. Thanks for having me, guys. So TV has changed uh, dramatically over the past five to ten years. Uh, a lot of people are cutting the cords, going to streaming subscription services like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video, Crave, uh, Disney. But uh, back in the day, the old days, and I know a lot of our listeners will remember this, we used to get our TV through antennas on top of our TVs, like over the air, the signals would come. Well, believe it or not, those signals are still being transmitted transmitted, and actually in high definition all across Canada. So if you have the right gear, you can actually pick up those signals for free on your TV. I mean, it all depends on, you know, what type of antenna you get, where you live, on what channels you can receive. Uh, but today we want to talk a little bit about that. And then, you know, what do you do with that when you do get the signal set up properly with your television? Can you record shows? Well, we've got a solution for that too. Ted, uh, you've actually got an HD antenna set up in your home. How, how, how did that uh, work for you? Was it easy, difficult? Well, I'm in a condo, so it's easy as far as the height goes. Uh, that's nothing there's nothing to worry about there and i'm facing being in toronto i'm facing south uh towards downtown so you know i can pick up signals not just from the city but also from as far away as buffalo uh across the lake now the the thing i've been doing this since i moved in here so digital antennas are you know they're not new to me and a lot of them now work indoors so you don't necessarily have to install something outdoors although i can see the advantage that some people might get from doing that uh because of course you get more height but the point is, is that you can pull in certain channels over the air that are free. So bro- networks that are broadcasting free over the air channels are they're out there. You just have to be able to pick them up, and that's where the a good antenna can help you do that. Uh, but you have to kind of angle it the right way because these are digital signals, so they're not analog like they used to be. So you have to like point it the right way to capture them. But once you do, they're there and they're clear, and you're not paying a dime for them. And it, the, the quality is quite excellent. Uh, it's uncompressed signals as well. Yeah, uncompressed relative to what cable and satellite TV would be. Um, so it's not a, you know, I wouldn't say it's like a fully uncompressed signal, but, you know, but that's technical stuff we don't need to get into here. The point is that the, the quality of the image that you're looking at is great. Now, we this is a bit going more into the future, but... Already, we're starting to see some TVs have what are called ATSC 3.0 tuners. So right now, we have you know TVs have 2.0 tuners. The 3.0 tuners will be able to do 4K. So when broadcasters are able to broadcast in 4K, those over you know over the air signals would come you know to an antenna to your ATSC 3.0 tuner, and you'd have free 4K TV. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. But look for TVs to come out, especially this year and in 2022, that'll have that as standard. So uh, that way you're future-proofing when that time comes. I think one thing that um, over-the-air TV is really great for, especially for cord cutters, is live sports. It's the one easy way to get it generally. You know, in Canada, we've got a couple channels that you can get typically almost in every city that would have some kind of sports, whether it's football or uh, hockey or something like that. And you get it in that really beautiful, semi uncompressed view. So it just looks really nice. Uh, yeah. Ho- hockey looks great. It really yeah. does. Uh, you know, hockey night in Canada games on, on Saturdays, especially, you know, or any game that CBC is broadcasting. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's one of the easier channels to get and yeah, it looks great. And then, you know, if you're watching football on CTV, you know, on Sundays, uh, that looks great too. Um, so yeah, you don't get all the sports obviously because, you know, Sportsnet and TSN, you know, they're cable channels. They're not going to broadcast uh, over the air, but, uh, but I, your point is well taken. I mean, definitely whenever I've watched sports, uh, on, on antennas and I've done it for years, it's, it's just great. And, you know, the antennas are, are pretty affordable too, aren't they, Ted? Yeah. Uh, it's very easy to get one for under a hundred dollars. Uh, very easy. And these are, and they look, they, they don't look like what you think an antenna would look like. It's so, not rabbit ears. Yeah, it, it's not rabbit ears. It's not like some weird contraption. Like, it, you know, there are some that literally, they look like a piece of plastic paper attached to a cord. 
uh, literally. Uh, yeah. And, you know, and some of them come with like boosters. So like you can plug them into the USB port on your TV and that like boosts the signal. Uh, so they come in a variety of different forms, but not necessarily what you think an antenna would look like. You can, you know, something you can put on a wall, attached to a window, uh, something you can rest on, a, maybe on a ledge, facing out a window. They, they come in a variety of different forms. One of the companies that I like is Mohu. Uh, they're very well known, uh, especially in the U.S., but they are available here too, and they make a, a wide range of, of digital antennas. And, you know, there is a difference between like the indoor and the outdoor antennas. Uh, and I would imagine if you have the capability to do an outdoor antenna, that would give you a, a better chance of picking up signals. For sure. Yeah. The, the outdoor antennas uh, definitely are more powerful. They're larger. They do require installation. And certainly because of the height necessary, it's something that you would attach to the roof, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, a chimney, something. Uh, that will give you a way to to prop it up and leave it up there. So if you're really serious or, you know, to your point, Mike, when you started the segment, where you live, because that is the that's the biggest part where you live, what direction you're facing, or at least what direction the antenna is facing. Those are the number one pri priorities as far as what you're going to get. That's why some people living in a, more, in a denser area are going to get more channels than someone who lives in a more rural area. Uh, it, it's just a matter of where the antennas are that are broadcasting these signals and how you can pick them up. Yeah, if I could recommend one website for listeners out there that want to try this uh, and just to see what channels are uh, potentially, uh, you know, available in your area, there's a website called tvfool.com. Yeah, and you great can enter, site. Yeah, and you can yeah. enter in your address and it'll give you a listing of, you know, whether an indoor antenna might work better or an outdoor antenna, depending uh, on the position of and uh, the And the is. signal strength. Sorry, yes. Mike, just in, in, the signal strength as well is noted for each channel on that site, which is really, really good because it gives you an idea of what kind of distance uh, you would need to be at uh, in order to get the channel at the strongest signal. It's also interesting, too, that like Mike and I both live fairly close to the border, and you kind of have line of sight to Buffalo, at least. So uh, you can get American channels as well. Oh yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh yeah. yeah, I've gotten I've gotten them here too. Uh, it is a bit hit or miss, depending. Now you guys being closer to the border in Vancouver might have a, an easier time of it than us here. And certainly, you know, people who live further away from the border, like in Alberta or Saskatchewan, um, you know, they might have a harder time picking up American channels. But it is possible. I was surprised when I run this scan with an HD antenna. I had, I actually got a bunch of channels I didn't even know existed. Like I've never heard of them before <laughs> and they were being broadcast out of Bellingham, Washington. And it was just like, and they're like movie channels and stuff. And this is like, this is awesome. That's yeah. uh, that's uh, John. That's the old KVOS TV 12. Uh, yeah. And, well, it's, there's me TV, which is yes. what, what they do, but they also have these other ones that do classic movies and other things like that. I know well. it's great. That's it's fantastic. like, it's great. It's free content. Well, with over the air uh, HD TV, there's a way to, to capture those and record them. So you can watch them anytime. We're talking with Ted Kritsonos. He's done a great uh, review of this uh, device. It's from Tableau. Ted, tell us uh, what uh, this uh, Tableau device does and how it works with the, uh, the HD antenna. Okay, so Tableau is made by a company called Nuvio, which is based in Ottawa, so Canadian content, if you will. And the idea is they have a number of different products, but the general idea is that you would plug the antenna into the box, so not into the TV, but into the box, and that way you'd be able to stream whatever the, the, the antenna is pulling in into the box to compatible devices. So you're not, you don't have to be at your TV. You can watch it there, certainly, because there's, there are apps for the Roku and Android TV, uh, but you don't have to. You can watch it on your phone. You can watch it on your tablet. So that, that's always been the flexibility of Tableau is that you, you can watch it anywhere. And when you plug in an external hard drive, the box will format that drive and you can actually save. It's like a DVR. So you can save, or PVR. Uh, you can save your, you know, whatever you wanted to record, whatever shows you want to record. You can record on the fly or you can record a certain show. You know, maybe you want all the episodes of a, of a certain show for that season. You can get those. And if you subscribe to a couple of different subscriptions they have, you can, you know, you can remove the commercials automatically uh, and also get all the, you know, two weeks worth of like TV guide information as well. Um, so they, there's a lot going on there, but the focus is basically to get 
over the air live TV to you in more ways than one and let you record what you want as well. So once you buy this box, and they've got a number of different ones uh, from what I, I've seen, um, do you have to get the subscription to get it to work? You, you don't have to get the subscription for it to work. The subscriptions, so there, there's two, and I know like it's a bit confusing because there's, there's something that they call premium, and then there's also the TV guide subscription. So these are actually two separate things. They do not combine them together. So premium lets you do, like it skips commercials for anything you record. So, you know, you record a show, it actually just cuts those commercials out completely when it processes the, uh, the file. TV Guide gives you, you know, it's two weeks worth of TV Guide info, so you can look ahead, you know, and, and set up recordings that way. Uh, you get more, more artwork, more metadata. Um, they're just, it, it's a richer experience, if I can use that term, uh, when, you, when you have that. So, yeah, but they split them into two subscriptions, but you don't need them in order to use this. And the box itself is a one-time purchase. You're not paying on top of that to use it in any way, uh, but you do need an external hard drive if you want to record something, which of course is a separate purchase. That It's not something the Tableau includes. So for example, if I were to see a movie on the interface and I was to click it, it would tell me when it's airing, what channels, and then give me the option to record it as well. So once I, once I you know, set it to record, it's just going to record on its own. And if I am a premium subscriber as well, I won't have to have any commercials in there too. And so just from the pricing I'm looking at uh, for the TV guide, like to get the, the better TV guide experience, you know, the two weeks worth of info, that's uh, five ninety nine Canadian a month or 60 bucks a year. Obviously, you know, you'd save some money doing that. Um, and uh, to get the other service, uh, the premium service, um, which, you know, strips out the commercials of stuff that you record, uh, that's about 30 bucks a year. So not bad. Uh, when you factor it all in, you know, that's a lot cheaper than, you know, getting TV from your, I guess, uh, your local provider. That's less than yeah. one month of... <laughs> of, of <laughs> yeah. It is, it is. Uh, although in my review of the latest Tableau model, and, and, and the one I reviewed uh, was the dual HDMI. It's the first Tableau to have an HDMI port and the first one to connect directly to a TV. That is very much a stay-at-home device. It offers no streaming. So you can connect to it, you can watch it on a TV with a, with a proper app, like on a Roku or Android TV, but you can't stream to a tablet or a phone or away from home either, which is the value proposition of the other Tableau products. So I, I made that very clear in the review. I, I clarified you know, why that particular model is different. But I also noted that I, I actually feel the pricing is a bit steep for what you're getting uh, only because it's, it really depends how much you are receiving over the air. Uh, to pay that kind of money if you're getting three channels is not worth it. If you're getting 15 channels, then I can see where it makes sense, right? So it, it's highly, highly dependent on how much content you're actually pulling in uh, through the antenna because the box can only, can only do what the antenna gives it, right? So it, it, it's so contingent on that one element. Overall, though, Ted, uh, you've been you know, using the HD antennas and this new box. Would you recommend it? I would. I, and I, and I, but I have to preface that by saying that it is, to me, a complement to what other services you are probably watching or subscribing to. So if this is something that you're going to have on top of Netflix or Disney+, Plus, for example, great. But it's not going to replace those in any way. So the, the comparison is, is, as John pointed out, is more apt for cable or satellite. Yeah. So there are certain, maybe you're not watching many channels. Maybe you'll get a lot, of your, you know, a lot of the shows you like through the networks that you're catching over the air. Then, yeah, it makes total sense. But if for live sports, it's limited. Bear in mind that you can only watch whatever's broadcast in those channels. Uh, if you want everything else, there are services for those too. We've been talking with Ted Kritsonos uh, all about uh, HD antennas and getting free TV over the air and how to record it. If you want to read his review about uh, the Tableau, visit our website, getconnectedmedia.com. Uh, a lot more information there. Ted, as always, thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And you know that little bell icon? Hit that and you'll be notified every time we post a new video. And comment. The more comments and the more likes and subscriptions we get, the more videos we can make.